Well, you guys, I'm fostering French Bulldog puppies. This week I took in four newborn puppies and they've been living in an incubator in my living room. They're getting tube fed around the clock as I try to keep them alive. And while they're absolutely precious, I'm honestly kind of dreading sharing about them because I already know how the internet feels about French Bulldog puppies. People think they're so cute and they're so unique and they want to buy them and they're becoming more and more popular every single year. And the last thing that I wanna do is contribute to that or perpetuate the myth that these dogs ought to be bred and bought. I am here to tell you that there is nothing cool at all about buying a French Bulldog puppy. So let's spend some time together with my foster puppies. I have Buttercup, Wesley, Inigo, and the biggest boy, Humperdink, and we can spend some time together while I tell you all about why I am so fiercely opposed to people breeding them. French Bulldogs are designed by humans to have severe congenital abnormalities that cause them suffering and death. No, seriously, suffering is the norm for these dogs. It is not an anomaly. Scientific literature shows over and over that these dogs are suffering, yet people continue to breed them because people continue to buy them. One of the worst things that these dogs experience is called brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome. This is a medical condition that occurs when dogs are bred to have that super scrunched face like this, where they have a shortened upper jaw. But the thing is that the soft tissues of the nose and throat are the same size, so they're squeezed into such a narrow space that it makes it extremely hard for them to breathe. These dogs have to exert so much effort to just be able to breathe that they can end up having constant respiratory distress and they can have secondary issues like a collapsed larynx or heat stroke or death. And this disease occurs in the vast majority of French Bulldogs because they're bred to look like this. I mean, look at this profile. How are they supposed to breathe? These dogs have a ton of other issues too. Things like epilepsy, heart disease, entropion and other eye diseases, skin conditions, hip problems, bone diseases. I mean, it's just a fact that a large proportion of these puppies are going to be born with serious congenital issues. And if you don't want to listen to me, listen to the breeders themselves. Go on any of these breeding websites and they'll be the first to tell you that these puppies have high mortality. They'll tell you how risky it is for these mothers to labor because their hips are so narrow they can't even pass a puppy through the birth canal. So there's increased risk of mortality to the mothers, to the puppies who are getting stuck. They'll tell you how the puppies who do survive are often going to have some kind of medical condition either right when they're born or when they get older, these puppies might need expensive surgeries just to be able to breathe? And then they'll go on to tell you how you too can artificially inseminate these dogs, how you can force them to have pregnancies so dangerous that they will die without the intervention of a C-section, and how you can hopefully just maybe have a couple of the puppies survive long enough for you to sell them at an expensive cost to some unsuspecting person who doesn't realize that they've just walked into a lifetime of thousands of dollars in medical bills and a future with a dog who is so vulnerable that they can't do basic things like breathe on a warm summer day. These dogs only exist because people designed them to be this way because it's very profitable. Meanwhile, adopting a shelter dog will cost you about 5% of that cost and you'll probably end up with a dog that can like actually, I don't know, breathe. But do you know why it's so expensive to buy a French Bulldog? Well, for one, greed. And the disgusting idea that a living being's value can be measured by the principles of supply and demand. And two, because it's so freaking hard to keep these puppies alive. Trust me, as someone who's been doing this around the clock, it is not easy. These puppies, by virtue of the way they're designed, are at high risk of aspirating, both with mom and also on a bottle. So I'm tube feeding these puppies around the clock because that is the safest thing for them. And yes, it's very sweet, you know, they suckle on my finger while they're tube feeding and oh sure, it's very, very sweet, but this is absolutely tragic. You guys, I don't know what planet these dogs were designed to live on, but it isn't this one. If we left it up to the dogs, this breed wouldn't exist because they literally can't breed without human intervention. 
For every French bulldog you see on Instagram, how many puppies had to die of congenital defects? How many babies had to come into this earth just to be unable to breathe and unable to live? How many mama dogs died in labor? I mean, honestly, it's sick. There needs to be less demand for these dogs so that people have no reason to breed them because it's not profitable. Ugh, y'all, listen. I've always been against the breeding of dogs because it makes no sense to bring more animals into a world where their species is already dying due to lack of resources. But seeing this so up close, I have to say, breeding French bulldogs is a special kind of horrible. Of course, I love every baby in my care and I truly love these four with all my heart, but I hope this video has shown you some of the reality of what these dogs have to go through and why it is so much more ethical, loving, kind, and honestly just sensible to go to a shelter and adopt.